Hey guys, just as right here, and I am so very sorry that I was not able to get an Easter video out. I really wanted to this year, um, and I did film one, but I didn't care for it, and I did not want to put something out that I wouldn't even want to watch, so I just decided to scrap it and start anew. So instead of doing an Easter video, I'm going to do a haul video. And I just recently heard a YouTuber that um, I watch frequently. I'm trying to think of who it was. It'll come to me. But um, she felt like hauls were like yesterday. And I totally disagree. I fully enjoy watching people's hauls. I never feel like they're people bragging. You know, some people are just really working hard and can afford top brands. And other people are you know, just starting out and just getting there. And either way, I enjoy watching, you know, both kinds of videos because not only, you know, is it just entertaining for me to watch, but it also lets me know what brands that I want to try, what don't, you know, what not to try at all. Um, so if you don't like haul videos, I mean, it was clear in the description, but just a little forewarning, this is a haul video. And it's actually a little bit big. Um, it's a collective haul. I didn't get just all of this today. It's been over probably about a month's time, maybe a little less, maybe three weeks. Um, I'm going to start out with the biggest. Um, oh, I should tell you where. Okay, a couple things, odds and ends from like Target, Dollar Tree, TJ Maxx, um, Rue 21, Under Armour, Bath and Body Works, Ulta, Sephora, and that's it. Um, so... I guess the first thing I'll talk about is just Target. It's super simple. It's just a um, small angled brush from e.l.f. Um, I got it for one of the items that I got from Ulta, which is the biggest of the haul, so I'm just going to get this out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and just throw a few things in the same category because they're pretty much the same. So um, I don't really like to dye my hair. The chemicals, they freak me out. I've seen, like, actual not in real life, but like in pictures and heard horror stories of people who've had allergic reactions to hair dyes. So I hate doing it, which leaves me with horrible gray hair and it shows my age and I hate it. So, um, and right now I'm going for like the red gradation to the blonde type of ombre. Um, and normally I can't find red anything. It's usually brown, light brown, dark brown, blonde, light brown, or light blonde and dark blonde and blah 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 and it's never for redheads so while I was at Ulta I seen quite a few things and um all of them I think were on clearance um I mean, this one wasn't um two of them were on clearance <clears throat> I'm not this is the touchback plus um it's a leave-in conditioner and it adds color instantly which I'm very intrigued about this you do still have to do the patch test to see if you're allergic but it says it has no ammonia, no peroxide, no sulfates, um, tones down grays, which is amazing. That's exactly what I need it for. Um, smooths and repairs damaged hair, dual UV fade protection, um, adds color to natural color treated hair. Yay. Super excited about trying this. Um, and like I said, this has been a collective thing, so I'm like itching to get my hands on these products. Um, I did try because I got two of these. Um, this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo, which is one of my favorite brands of dry shampoo ever. Um, but I seen, and they had these on clearance, um, originally $8.99. I got mine for $6.74, and I got two of them. Um, and it's the Batiste Dry Shampoo, and it says a hint of color, vibrant red. And I, my hair needs dyeing very badly, so right now it's just like this real mousy, weird brown color. And putting it on there was almost like an orange um, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's more like an orangey color. So I wouldn't suggest doing it on like darker hair to try to get that red color unless you want an orangey or red. Um, but that's not what I wanted. So I'm going to try it on the actual red hair after I do that, which will be in the, I'll say in the next few weeks. I'm not going to say days. <laughs> um, but I'm curious to see how this is going to work. I mean, my hair still feels like really refreshed, even though it's got a little orange hue to it. Um, so worst comes to worst, I could always use it, but, um, I did pick up two because I was hoping it would be good. Um, so yeah, I will let you know how that works on my red hair. And then until then, I seen this Cover Your Gray Cleansing Cover 
hair freshener. Um, covers roots. And I got this in the cover color Auburn, which isn't as vivid as I want my red to be, but I figure in between my hair goes into like an Auburn area anyways. So just to cover the grays, because like in here it gets really bad. So hopefully this will help. Um, and it is by Cover Roots, I guess. And I'm really hoping that some of these work. Um, <clears throat> the next thing I got is a sunless tanner. We all know it's that time of year where it's like you can't go out in the sun and I don't really want to tan in a tanning salon but I do want a tan because I'm having graduation and going to different banquets and things like that for school and I'm going to be in dresses and I don't want to have like these pale little chicken legs walking around um, so I decided it's time to start trying out selfless, or sunless tanners and I've never really done them. I've done, I think, maybe one or two um, in the past, but it was not, like, quality brands, so I can't say anything good about them. Um, they were streaky and orange and just made your fingers in between awful. And So I was going for the Flawless by Half Baked. I've heard personally from some friends that they really enjoyed it, so I wanted to try it. And um, they didn't have any at my Alta. They had an area, but they were all out, so clearly it is a good brand. I will be also getting that in the Tan Physics, um, but what I did pick up is the San Tropez. Um, it's the starter kit, which comes with the exfoliant, um, a little, like, I guess, mini couple try application mousse, and then also a moisturizer to help the tan last longer. And Candy Johnson actually um, has mentioned this numerous times in her videos. And she swears by it, so I'm very excited to use this. This is one of the first ones I wanted to try. So um, I will also be doing a video on, like, a review on how I like this. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm super excited. So I'll be all tan with my red hair and not pale and mousy brown. So then one thing I was really in the market for was a blow dryer. And the one I've had, I've had, I believe, like, 12 years, like, legit no joke 12 years too long and um I wanted something compact and small because I have a lot of like heating tools and I only have this one little like uh you know the cloth baskets or whatever the cubes or whatever they're called so I wanted something compact so I either wanted like a travel size or like a cord keeper or like the handle turned you know just to give me more area room and so I found this um, on clearance as well. I love a good deal. It was originally $69.99. I got it for $29.79. It is the Ultra Chi, Ultra Chi Travel Dryer. <clears throat> and I believe it has like the same voltages or wattage or whatever blow dryers use um, as like a regular size one. It's just smaller, which is fine by me because like I said, that's what I was in the market for. So I felt like I was finding really, really good deals. And then also it, with the red theme, um, I've been doing, you know, my eyebrows like my natural, like dark color. And with the red, it, to me, sometimes it's okay, but then other times I don't, I would like my eyebrows to maybe blend a little better and I'm not brave enough to try to dye them. So I picked up some of the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Auburn. And, um, I'll show you what this looks like. And, you know, you can see, you know, a trend. Apparently Auburn is going to be big. And it's so weird to me because this is not an Auburn at all. But I'm sure they know what they're talking about. Because I have heard nothing but wonderful, wonderful things about this pomade. So I am totally ecstatic about using that. That has been on my wish list for a little while now. So super excited. And then I also picked up while I was there the Naked 2 um, Urban Decay Basics. It's the second um, mini palette that comes from the Naked brand or the Naked line, I should say. Um, I did get the Naked 2 um, for Christmas. I just, that was my favorite. I don't, I didn't own any of them and I just really like that one the best. Just like that's why I chose this. And here is what it looks like. Let me try to cover up the mirror for you. And it's just very, like, neutral um, colors, which I was kind of lacking in what I had already had. I mean, there's a lot more, like, browns and pinky colors, I feel, 
in a lot of my other palettes and this is just really like muted. So I'm really looking forward to using this. And then I also picked up some of the Equal Tools Naturally Beautiful Lash System. And they're normally $5.99. I got in clearance for $1.49. And they come in sections. And I honestly just plan on using the sections for like my wing. Or maybe like two of them. Just to give it that wing look. Because I don't like full on like lashes. So I better hurry up. I'm already at 10.33. Okay. And because I love Batiste Day, I also picked up the Dry Styling XXL Pumping Powder. And I've tried the Big Sexy Hair kind and I didn't really care for it, even though I love that comb in a bottle. So I'm really excited to use this and see if this works out. And I have a feeling it is going to work really good and it's going to make my hair feel really light and fluffy. In a good way, not frizzy. But the last thing I got, and this was a huge clearance, is $25 originally. I got it for $3.49. And it is by Things Remembered, which I thought was odd that they had there. But I was like, okay, accepted. I'll take it. And um, pretty much it is a, a, it's a mother of pearl. Um, it's got a little pearl right here, makeup mirror. And it comes with actual, like a like a, a gold insert in here that you can get engraved, which I have an engraver, so I plan on engraving it and maybe giving it to my mom for Mother's Day or maybe keeping it for myself. I haven't decided yet, um, but that was my Ulta haul. And I feel like I got a really good deal on pretty much everything I got, so super excited about that. This might end up being a two-part video, but it's a pretty big haul, so if it is, I won't be upset. So the next place I went is Sephora and I love how they like make your um, purchases feel like gifts. You know, it's like you're trading yourself. And I've been looking all over Amazon because I bought it once from there, but they did not have it ever since, um, is the Deep Throat by NARS. So I picked up some of that and I'm sure you've all seen it a hundred times. It's been around forever it seems. Um, but just in case you have not, it is a beautiful color. I do have um, the Orgasm, which is what I can find on Amazon, and I do like that too. But it's just a little bit more of like a darker color. And this is more of like a peachy, summery color. I mean, they're both summery. I just prefer this one. I mean, really, it's it's just what you prefer. And that's what I prefer. So I was really excited to pick that up. And then I also found this. It's the Bar... The Brow Bar To Go, the Anastasia Bever Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, um, a little mini tweezers, and then this oddly shaped crayon thing, and it's for brunettes, so on the days where I do want to go dark with my brows, this is what I'm going to use. Um, I've been using the Great Lash just um, clear mascara because a lot of the beauty go to root, well, I cannot speak tonight, it's ridiculous, a lot of the beauty gurus had suggested just to use that because it worked better than anything you know that was out on the market for the brow specifically but I find that it doesn't work too well with my eyebrows so I really wanted to try this and I've heard such great things about the brand in general that I figured it was like 16 bucks so I'm like I'm gonna pick it up and I really want to know what this crayon's about so so excited I'm so excited about everything I need to find like new like excited words um, and then because I had points, um, I think a hundred points or something, they gave me a little sample of the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Base Hydratine Hydrating Primer. And I love primers, so this will be nice just to stick in my collection for when I run out of what I'm using now. And she also was like, do you want any samples? And I'm like, oh, no, thank you. She's like, no, here, try this. And it is the Big Easy um, I'm not quite sure what it is. My 15 mark is about to hit. Oh, it's a sample of, um, different foundations, I believe. So I'm going to end this right here while I have time. Um, this was just the Sephora and Ulta part. The other part's going to go a lot quicker, so it's not going to be a 15 minute video, but it will be a few minutes. And, um, I hope that you will tune in for part two. So I'll see you guys in a sec.